Amidst the expansion of digital media, the ascent of ebooks, and substantial budget cuts, there have been numerous predictions proclaiming the demise of libraries. Although it's true that library budgets have been drastically reduced, leading to operation hour reductions and branch closures, libraries are far from fading away. In reality, libraries are undergoing a process of evolution and adopting to the shifting paradigm. People's perspective of libraries still are that monolithic, old historic building that's full of dusty books with shushing. Over the past 30 years, really, the technology boom that we've seen in our country and throughout the world has really led to a decline in library usage. I can remember the times when public computers started in libraries, and that was kind of the announcement of the doom of libraries. And then as it progressed to e-readers, you know, on more online resources, more access to computers, we've heard that more and more. Libraries aren't just in competition with the technology, they're in competition with access to almost anything you want at the touch of your hand. Technology has changed a lot, and libraries are no different just in the ways that businesses have adapted. Libraries have needed to adapt, and the ones that we're really seeing as, as successful and inviting areas are the ones that really have created spaces for the community to engage beyond just checking out books looking at workforce development, seeing that as a community need in providing laptops or computer access, job training skills at the library, those have all been great opportunities. Libraries are beacons of lifelong learning, housing an array of resources that would otherwise be elusive or unaffordable. In a world where fiction often masquerades as fact, libraries stand firm as bastions of truth by granting free access to education news, and historical treasures, libraries keep the public informed. Today, they are evolving to be even more than that. Based in Greeley, Colorado, the Library Innovation Center is more than a public library, providing resources, space, and equipment to develop new skills that can lead to a career path or encourage a new hobby. We want people to come in and learn something, whether it's from a book or one of the experiences. You can come into a different room and have a different experience and learn a different skill almost every day of the week. Link has so much to offer. There are woodworking machines and lathes. There's also industrial space. There's innovative classrooms. There's studio spaces where you can record podcasts and record video segments, not to mention a gaming space for teens and older youth. There's art classrooms. There's also a wonderful kids library. There's a little hobbit door the kids can go through. The thing that is wildly popular is the maker space. This is an area where you can use a 3D printer, a laser engraver, a UV printer, and there's even a die cut machine. So really getting hands-on learning, but it's a wonderful cross-section with technology. The other unique aspect of Link is really to create a pipeline. The idea that we had heard was that skills have not been passed necessarily down through the family, and we need a place for that to happen. So that's the concept of Link. Come in and you can actually be exposed to skills and to actually help the High Plains Library District get a seat at the table in terms of workforce development. One exciting aspect that Link brings to the community is you don't have to be an avid reader to come to Link and love it and have a really fulfilling experience here. So I think Link is crucial in helping people know there's lots out there. It's, it's free to you, like come enjoy it. And not just for the, the hobby part and the entertainment part, but also to think about career exploration. It's having that interactive, hands-on opportunity, I think is gonna help a lot of young people tap into like aptitudes and interests that they just didn't know were, th were there and maybe wouldn't have known if they didn't have a place where they could start exploring. One of the most eye-catching and captivating spaces of the library that's really unique is the hands-on um, children's interactive learning playing space. As soon as you come in the building, the interactive experience for West Bruce's installation called Where Water Flows Uphill, you'll see a massive a silo. If you're brave enough, you can actually climb up the netting from that first floor to the second floor and enter its exhibit. As you get in there, it tells the a story of the hero's journey is seen through the eyes of a local protagonist, but it's an interactive experience that you can wander through and find a variety of different hidden meanings. Rather than trying to explain it all, it's better just to come in and experience it for yourself. 
Just imagine, you can come in and you get a book and you read it and you're inspired. And then you're like, okay, I want to tell this story. And you can go into one of the innovation bays and make a costume. Or you can go in the wood shop and, and build something or a prop. And then you can go in the studio and shoot a film or shoot a video and then be streaming. So you can come and do that all in one space in one day in maybe an hour or two. And creating that type of flexibility and ability to do something like that is what Link is all about. To learn more and plan your visit, go to mylibrary.us forward slash link.